In my last video, I mentioned that it was bad practice to remove items from a list during iteration. It can cause a lot of problems. The reason behind this is that when you iterate through a list in Python, it's dependent on the indexing. So if you remove an item during iteration, it shifts all the values after the one you remove to the left so that it fills in the place of the one you removed. So if you go up in the indexing from that point, you actually skip the one that was originally the next value because the one that was originally the next value becomes the value that fills the index of the item you just removed. So I'll make a list to demonstrate that. And then now I'll try to remove during iteration. If you take a look here, one of the two values is still here. That's because this two value got shifted left when the first one was removed, so the iteration actually skipped over it. And when it tried to go to the next value after it removed one, it went to the 5. The way you fix this is actually pretty simple. The idea is that you make a copy of the list that you work with, and then using that copy, you flip it in reverse, so you're working from the back of the list. When you remove from a a list, it only affects the indexing of the items afterwards. So if you go from the back of the list to the front, it doesn't mess up the indexing. The way you do this is with two built-in functions. You use enumerate and sorted. As you can see, this time it actually moved both of the twos. If you're unfamiliar with enumerate, it gives you a list with both the index and the value of the item in the list. If I do enumerate L, list enumerate L, that's, that was a generator, you'll see that it's 0 and 1, those are the indexes, and then 1 and 5 are the values. And then this just unpacks it into the index and the value. The index is just so I can pop it here. I use pop instead of remove because in some rare cases, if you're doing something weird, you may run into issues if you use remove instead of pop. I just generally prefer it. Also, it's shorter to write. The sorted is where it flips that list in reverse. And then as you can see here, when I use L, I'm modifying that original list from the index of I. This is going in reverse. Like I said, it doesn't mess up the indexing and you can safely remove. The main use for this in my case is that I'll want to remove an entity during iteration. Say I'm doing updates on it and I find that, hey, this shouldn't exist anymore or the same thing could happen with a particle and I want to remove it during iteration and it's very convenient to be able to do that. The alternative to this would be to modify it outside of iteration. You could make a list of things you want to remove and then afterwards you go through that list of things you want to remove and then remove those. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video.